afternoon guys I just thought I'd give a quick February tour it's a beautiful day today the sun is shining and for once it's not freezing cold or snowing or sleeting so I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of the allotment see what's up I thought we'd start at the kitchen area not sure if I've shown you in the kitchen area but this is where we harvest or store our chopped up wood logs that we use to burn when we're cooking uh, here in this clay pot we're going to make a tandoor oven as well so we've cooked in there before but not like a proper tandoor oven here is a rocket stove so you put twigs in the bottom you light them and basically as the fire burns it draws the air through here and it comes up the top here as well so this is our little rocket stove we've got our barbecue here a little prep area here got a little cabinet here we've got lots of stuff free goodies that uh, people don't want that we make use of a bin and we've got a oil drum which we're going to use obviously we're going to clean it out and do some more prepping on it for a pizza oven that's just going to go back here i've got to cut this back a bit and use some pallets and all of those wood chippings there are going to use to insulate the pizza oven um, so pretty excited about that got a little washing up sink here and um, got to do the washing up and stuff as well but yeah this is our little kitchen as well and here's what the whole ooh, let's go back so the whole thing looks like nice little area outdoor area that's the kitchen That's the kitchen, and from there we've got the pond. And the latest addition is the bee area. So the bees are going to fly up above here, over this window, and above the pond. Um, so they're not going to fly into anyone's head. I managed this half as well. So this is this was just put together using blue frames and blue netting as well. Um, I'm going to. Um, grow some climbing plants around it to help um, provide a bit of shelter from the wind and make it a little, a little, little bit less conspicuous so it does stand out like a sore thumb here what I've been doing is these raised beds I've just been lining them up really just using bamboo sticks to hold the wood in so I get it, you know see if I can it all fits well and stuff so I've got quite a bit of leveling and stuff to do and I'm going to fill it with soil and then that's when I'm going to put my plants in. So before we go into the bee area, this is a little chicken area, and that is a pain for my greenhouse that's blown out of the, week, the recent uh, windy weather. So yeah, I've just been using this just to lay it out really, the raised bed area. Uh, it's not secure or anything, and it's nowhere near complete. But once it is, I'm just going to start putting in the soil and stuff like that really, and then build up the chicken. Obviously the fencing and stuff has to be built as well first but just to get a little idea um, so I'm gonna have an inner fence here so this bed here is gonna be the inner one that's gonna be a permanent sort of fencing and then there's gonna be a little door there and then the chickens can come out and play around in this sort of area here so I'm gonna grow some stuff that's quite tall that they can nibble on and rummage around in the soil from the outer part as well and obviously I have a nice little um, fencing around here that's but when they come out that's going to be when we're here and then obviously when we put them back they're going to be in the secure area over there okay so all right let's get into the little bee area if you guys can hear me yeah, i've got to clear all this stuff out as well clear all this rubbish it's debris make use of this area as well uh, this is good little fencing i've managed to pick up we can use for the chicken fencing so we come in it's a deliberate tight little gap so that people don't rush in take it nice and slow yeah this is a little area inside here and I've got to obviously tidy up and secure some parts so that no foxes or whatnot come in this is inside the beehives around there at the moment I've got yet to get the bees yet so still a bit a little bit of work to be done here 
Yeah, this is what it looks like. This is what they fly out of and over to forage down the allotment. So this is where the most of the work's been done in this half of the plot I share with someone else. So now we go to my plot. Nothing much has really been happening, but we have got some spring bulbs that are coming up. There you go. Spring is here nearly. We've got to do some weeding, get rid of the grass, tidy up a bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm making my whole plot sort of an no diggish sort of thing. I'm not going to be growing things like potatoes this year. I had a poor harvest. Um, this is where the wasp nest was. I just dug it up just to see if I could find anything, find anything. This part of the allotment was a no-go area at one point because of the wasps. And up here, up here, you can see beautiful snowdrop. Look, the spring is on its way. That's gorgeous. This is on top of an IBC tank that holds about a thousand liters of water. Water, sorry. We've got some other swing bolts coming up. I'll try something with the roof of this shed. But yeah, I'm standing on some pallets at the moment. So you can see the, the uh, allotment all the way down there. Right, I'm just gonna pause this while I get off so I don't drop the camera. see more spring bulbs coming up just there I've got to tame this climb I always forget this I think it might be a jasmine this thing here I've got to tame it I've got to tie it around here as well there's loads to do still and spruce up these raised beds a bit as well but yeah I've just been dumping the wood chippings on the stuff here I'm gonna grow things like the bigger things like sweet corn and stuff which I can just grow in and harvest above then I'm just gonna chop it down and let it break up as well there's not much going, I've got to get these paving slabs in as well that I've managed to acquire, hopefully I might acquire some more. It looks quite messy at the moment, but that is life. Again, this little brick bread. Uh, the foxes don't tend to use the paths here. <laughs> I hear they've been knocking them over. Right, let's see what we can get in the polytunnel. This is the X polytunnel I used to have. It's no longer here, so I'm going to get these slabs down as well. Let's travel in to Polytunnel. I forgot the greenhouse. I'll go back after to the Polytunnel. Okay. Oh, quite a few flies here. Grapevine as well. I've got to tie a little bit. Some of the stuff I say I've, I've said, thought I've said I've done before, but I said I did. I said I was going to do before. Sorry, I never got into doing. Right. Let's see. Any of our yakking or anything starting to appear? Nope, nothing yet. Nope, everything's still a bit dormant. But our globe artichoke. Oh, it looked like it was doing well. You see that there? We'll give it a chance anyway, that's the thing. I'll give everything a chance. Never give up on something. Alright, let's check the greenhouse. Greenhouse. Greenhouse is a bit of storage at the moment. These are my comfries that I planted a week back ago. It's not a tomato money maker. I just haven't got the labels off. So this is comfrey. It's really good for chopping up and using as a mulch at the back there. I think those are Egyptian onions coming up again. Or yakon, no sign of life there. No, not Egyptian onions, sorry. Elephant garlic. And that over there, I believe, is Egyptian onions. 
no underneath the sheeting nothing yet it's been quite cold really. this has been one of the warmest days so far in February down here anyway so yeah I didn't expect a lot oh something's coming up here if I'd have labelled it I might actually remember what the heck it was that's another thing I've really got to be more on point with is labelling the trouble is you label stuff and then when you water it comes off or the sun gets off right continue on it's gonna be quite quick there's not much too much happening yeah the foxes have definitely been here I mean, it's so messy and the wind shredding up my cardboard over there bamboo's doing quite well ah look at that rhubarb rhubarb's coming up nicely has come up a few times before. You can see it's down there as well. But a few hard frosts have killed it back. The march hopes are doing fine. It's just a lot of tidying up really to do. Not much down here. I don't think there's much else. Just tidying up. It's quite messy. All those jobs, yeah. So that is it, that concludes the allotment tour in February. So a lot of tiling up to do, still fixing stuff, got a long time yet before we start sowing more seeds. Well, outside anyway. Finish off on a little herb bed. I always get confused with it. It's lime or oregano and the sage. It's beautiful stuff. So yeah, that concludes the plot tour for February 2017 so hopefully it'll be a good year and uh, I'll see you soon guys take care